JHA Shukshiri, Product Specialist, IQS. Today we're going to talk about how to license ToolTalk 2 and FMS. So let's go take a look. So this is a brief on what we're going to do today. We're going to license ToolTalk 2 and FMS. So first, for the user clients to be able to connect to the controllers, we'll need to have licenses for ToolTalk 2. So we're going to download five ToolTalk 2 Land Manager licenses. So it means five virtual station could be connected to the server. Then we're going to make sure our PS6000 is going to have additional virtual station. So we're going to download five PS6000 virtual stations and assign them to each of the five station. So first I'm going to check what functionality I have in Toolstock 2. About Toolstock 2 itself, you could go to the upper right hand corner and you could see what version am I using, which is 2.13.5. I have Toolstock 2, Line Manager, 20 virtual stations connected, but I actually have up to 75 licenses, as you can see here. But where is FMS? So to go into FMS, you need to go to System Administration, and on the third tab, you could see FMS. Functionality Management System. So in here, it's going to show all your controllers connected and your licenses. And on this general information here, it shows your host ID, which this is your Ethernet card and what was registered in Flexera or Atlas Cup Go license portal. My Tools Talk 2 license is the same as we saw before as Line Manager, and I have 75 licenses, and we're going to add another five. As said, I have this new production line here with five stations. And let's see how many virtual stations I have. In the features here, I have only one virtual station. So we're going to add another five more virtual station for these stations. And we're going to assign them. So now I'm going to access my Alice Copco license portal here. AliceCopco.FlexNetOperations.com and I'm logged into as Customer Center USA, JHI Suksuri. And next, we have to look for our device. Remember the host ID I showed before? This is my host ID. We're going to look for that number in our Alice Copco license portal. So we search License Manager or USB device. In Customer Center USA, we have a lot of different host IDs. For example, this is Ben Hanawalt's um, Surface Pro. So it's his MAC address card. And today I'm looking for my server here. Type it's VM Virtual Machine. And this is my long host ID that I've shown in Tools Talk 2 a second ago. I'm going to click onto this. And on my host ID here. So this shows what features are mapped onto my device. But we're going to map more virtual station. You could see here I have only one virtual station mapped into the server. But we have 75 Toolstock 2 line manager as we could see in Toolstock 2 a second ago. So I'm going to map additional features. And the additional features I'm going to map is five more virtual station and five tools talk to line manager, which it's a really long list here. So here, five virtual station and here tools talk to line manager. I'm going to add five more and Click on Map Features. Then after you map your features, it's going to be in your list. Now I have 80 Tools Talk to Line Manager and I have 6 Virtual Station. Then I'm going to download my Capability Response File. Now back to my Tools Talk 2 on my FMS tab, I'm going to hit Manage and upload features. And the bin file I downloaded a second ago is my host ID. 
then upload features. My Tools Talk 2 is going to restart. And after restart, I'm going to have new features map into my Tools Talk 2. So from 75, I have 80 now. Going back to my system administration, then FMS, virtual station features. My virtual station from one have moved up to six, and we're going to assign virtual stations into these stations. So for this station, I'm going to assign one. One virtual station for solutions ILG. One virtual station for SQS. And so on. And my last virtual station for wireless station. So I have six virtual station in total, and we have used five. I hope this video was helpful. If you have further questions, please contact your Alice Copco representative. And thanks for watching.